in trouble and you need someone to help you out there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout hey 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 help is on its way call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers help is on its way George the postman got lots and lots of letters. He had a map of the world on the post office wall and could tell you where all the letters came from. Now let me see. This letter's come from Africa. I know where that is. It's, it's, uh, it's over here. Wow! You mean that letter came from all the way over there? Oh, morning, Mitzi, Josie. Yes, and this here is a letter for Alice from France. That's over here. And this one's for Sammy from his pen friend in Italy. Where's Italy, George? Well, see this boot-shaped thing here? That's Italy. And there's a picture on the stamp of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's a very famous tower in Pisa that leans. Gosh, George, you know so much about other countries. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly. Hey, maybe George could come to the homestead someday and teach us all about them. Well, <laughs> I'm not so sure. Oh, go on, George. I'd love to learn about the world. There you are, Mitzi. Hi there, George. Hello, Hello Buster. Buster. Hello, Hello Frank. Frank. George is going to come to the homestead and tell us all about the countries the mail comes from, aren't you, George? Well, I... Do. That's a great idea, George. I'd like to hear all about that stuff too. Why don't you come over tomorrow afternoon, George? Oh, well, all right. Hooray! <laughs> I can't wait. See you tomorrow afternoon, George. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, dear. The thing was, George wasn't sure if he knew as much about the different countries as his friends thought. He was worried that he might be able to tell them everything they wanted to know. The next day, the word had spread that George was going to give a talk about the countries of the world. I've laid on some juice for later, George. Uh, I must say, everyone's really looking forward to your travel talk. Yes! Are they? Oh, that's nice. Good on you, George. Thanks for coming. Uh, letters come into my post office from all over the world. Uh, like this one. This one came from South America. That's all the way from here to here. And this one... Uh, came from China, which is all the way over here. This one came from France. See, the stamp oh, oh, and the picture oh, of the George, famous Eiffel George, Tower. George, can I ask a question, please, George? Ah, uh, OK, Mitzi. How big is the Eiffel Tower? How, how big? Good question. Well, I... Well, uh... Ah, uh, it's about this big. On the stamp. I mean, how big is it in real life? Um, I wanted to ask what city it's in. I mean, France is a pretty big country. Mm. Yes, well, uh, I'm quite thirsty and I'm sure you are. And uh, I think Frank has some juice. Isn't that right, Frank? Uh, yes. Uh, OK. The juice is in the kitchen. The trouble was, George was upset because people were asking questions and he couldn't answer them. Hey, Frank. Do you think George is all right? He did seem a little, well, nervous. I'll speak to him. Everything all right, George? Oh, well, not really, Frank. I'm feeling a bit under pressure. People are asking questions that I just don't know the answers to. Why don't you talk about somewhere you do know? That way, you'll be able to answer people's questions. Somewhere I know. Good idea, Frank. Come on, Joe, stand up there. Ready, George. <clears throat> Welcome back. Now this is my lucky opal. It's just one of the fascinating rocks you can find in the world. It's mainly uh, found George, in... George, we know where opals are mainly found. They're mainly found around here. 
Yes, we know all about Rocks George and the Outback. What we want to hear about is the South American rainforests. Yes, and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And the... Oh, I forget now. But other countries. Oh, actually, you know, I'm very tired. Long day. Maybe we could do this another time. But, George, what about Russia? And Christmas Island. Is it shaped like a Christmas tree? And I wanted to know about Brazil. Uh, sorry, some other time. Uh, must go now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> What's up with him? Is the talk over now, Buster? I think it might be, Mitzi. I think George is a bit upset, Mitzi. But it's not your fault. Frank will think of something to make things right, won't you, Frank? Of course. After all, we're here to help. Buster, why don't you catch up with George and see if you can find out what's wrong? And maybe Mitzi could get you guys some more juice. Whatever you say, Frank. Oh. Wait up, George. We're worried about you. Why did you leave in such a hurry? I'm sorry, Buster. I had to leave. I couldn't answer any of those questions. Mitzi and the others, they love to hear you talking about things, George. Nobody tells stories like you. And if you can't answer a few of their questions, Buster, well... Buster, I can't answer any of their questions. You see, I don't know any facts about those other countries. I just look at the stamps and sort of daydream what they might be like. How can I tell people about other countries if I've never been to them? Don't worry, George. I'll tell Frank what you just told me, and I'm sure he'll think of something. Bye, Buster. Uh... As soon as Buster got back to the homestead, he told Frank all about George's problem. Well, let's think. What do we do if we want to learn about something? Oh, what's that, Mitzi? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we get a book on the subject. Let's take the plane to Sammy's store. Ned, get ready for takeoff. Righto, Frank. Stand by. Standing by. Shocks away, Buster. Shocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Buster. Buckle up. Sammy had a good collection of books, which he gave to Frank. Thanks, Sammy. The Koala brothers couldn't wait to show them to George. George! Oh, uh, hello, Buster. Hello, Frank. I told you Frank would think of something, George, and he did. These are for you. Uh, books? Books, George. Books on China and India and France and Italy. And we can get more about any country you like. Any country? Sure. You see, you don't have to go to a place to learn all about it. You can find out lots of interesting stuff from books. And then you can tell other people. In your own special George way. Oh. Oh, thanks, fellas. So, uh, can I tell the others you might give another talk? When you read the books, of course. You sure can. This time, can be good, I <clears throat> right. Now, the giant redwood tree is so big, it's, uh, let me just get here. Oh, it's, it's so big, you could cut a tunnel through one and drive Sammy's truck right through it. Wow! Now, being able to drive a truck through a tree is a pretty cool thing, and that <laughs> means it's probably... After that, biggest... George's oh, talks cool. became a regular thing. Everybody had learned that you don't have to go to a place to find out about it. And George had learned that there's no need to be afraid of not knowing something. After all, with books, you can learn something new every day. Hey!